full disclosure, it can be really difficult when you're working with three-dimensional shapes and you've just got a bunch of limits of integration. This is something you can do, but you need to be careful and you need to practice. So let's, let's practice. Let's say we're given a complicated looking triple integral with limits. Z goes from zero to one minus square root of X. X goes from Y squared to one and y goes from negative 1 to positive 1. In that order, it's not clear to me what the shape is that we are integrating over, but it is kind of important to know that. Let's say I wanted to change the limits of integration on this. Then it would really help me to know the three-dimensional shape so that I can figure out the bounds when I change the order of integration variables. So let's be careful. Let's look at the first set of limits. They involve only X and Z variables. There's no Y anywhere in there. So what we're going to do is plot on the XZ plane what we see here, Z going from 0 to 1 minus square root of X. So I think about fixing X as a constant, and then the limits on Z are zero at the bottom, and then one minus square root of x at the top. Plotting z equals one minus square root of x, I see a natural shape emerging. That's what the projection of this three-dimensional object onto the two-dimensional xz plane looks like. Now, I, I have a lot more to do in order to figure out what this shape really looks like. I have to, have to be careful with the, the remaining limits, so let's look at the limits on x and y and plot these in the xy plane. I see that x goes from y squared to 1. So I plot the curve x equals y squared. That's a parabola opening to the right. And I look at the line x equals 1, and those are my limits. So fixing y as a constant, I sweep from left to right, from x equals y squared to x equals 1. That along with the limits on y going from negative 1 to 1, convinces me that this shape that we have constructed is, is really the correct projection to the xy plane. Now, now's the hard part. You have to take those two planar projections and merge them together to extract the full three-dimensional shape. Can you do it? It's a bit of a challenge. This is something that it really takes a bit of practice, but oh, once you are able to do this, then you have such rich information about the domain that you are working with. Now again, I admit it's not easy. I cannot just look at a triple integral, see the limits, and just boom, see this shape in my head. I really have to work with planar projections. I have to be really careful with the limits of integration. I have to keep track of the order, make sure I'm always going from lower to upper. But once, once I've got that information, then practicing building a three-dimensional model and getting that intuition is extremely helpful. I recommend to you doing enough practice problems so that you start getting a facility for building a three-dimensional model at the end. I think you will find that to be very helpful.